All right, well, good morning. So, uh, today's gonna be the big reveal. I have finally finished this 1963 Lotus go kart that's sitting behind me. But before we quite get to it, let's do a little recap. I bought this about four or five years ago. And let's take some uh, quick looks on old videos back then. Apologize for the quality. Again, this was before I even thought about really creating a YouTube channel or doing videos. So let's take a look. All right, well... So here, uh, my name is Christian Toth, and uh, this is Coach Stop Motor Works. Uh, right now, I am going to be starting on a 1963 Lotus go kart. So let's see how it goes. So as you can see, some um, there was a different engine on there. It's pretty rough shape. We or I. Um, Ended up taking it uh, to get painted, the the body of it, repaired and, and painted. Uh, pulled a bunch of pictures off of, um, not a bunch, three pictures off of the internet to see um, what it would look like. And uh, I found a guy that actually hand painted all the graphics on there. Huge talent. Uh, he was an old race car driver. Um, had about like five or six race cars in his, in his back garage there, like all from the 70s. Um, super cool, but he did an amazing job when we get this out here, we'll take a look, but let's get back to looking at where it started. All right. Now let's try to take the body off. Kill switch was still connected. All right. Yay! Man, it uh, arguably looks worse than it did before. <laughs> but, I can get to everything now. So, let's take a, take a closer look here. So right off the bat I can see this area here, it's kind of bent, as well as right here is bent up. So you get a little bend on the right there, a little, little notch bend there. Hopefully, can uh, you know straighten that out. Um, but yeah, I mean, not very complicated. You can see these are frozen up there, both of them. Um, edge doesn't look terrible, but always necessary. So, so what I'm doing here. I'm going to undo, take these out. As you can see, I already disconnected the brake cable. 
So I'm going to do a bullet right here. Take that pin out, uh, undo the spring, and maybe this will free up my brake. Pro tip, take a picture of your project and the parts of it. So when it comes back, to putting it back together, makes it a ton easier. More pieces off. All right, so, so you can see the clutch off. It looks pretty rusty. So I'll try and go ahead and free up the weights. You can see the springs are in here. So might have a chance. Um, it's probably my ID tag. All right, so an update. Um, I thought uh, I thought I was actually recording before, but I wasn't. So just to kind of recap with you, um, here is where a lot of my corrosion and buildup was. So for about a week, I used some PB blaster and. Uh, what that was able to do is uh, after working it back and forth with a hammer, look at this, so free, it was awesome. Same thing with the throttle here. All right, so uh, one thing that I thought was uh, that you may pick up on, this engine's red and that one is black. Um, so I started taking a look at that engine and it turns out there is a ton of stuff that was missing. Um, and stuff that was cracked, it wasn't, it didn't have spark. Um, manifolds were cracked. So at that point, I actually thought that that was the engine that belonged on it. So I uh, looked for another one, found another one on eBay. It was one that has been, you know, gone over and refreshed. It was like a hundred bucks. So all those parts for that other engine would have been three times as much. So ended up just getting a new one, or a new to me one. Um, bolts it right up. So, uh, I went over last time is um, parts need to be replaced, carburetor, uh, the stator, that should be here, and uh, shaft would probably need to be uh, replaced, and um, as well as this. So, I was doing some research on eBay, and costs were coming up, it's probably around $200. It's a fair amount considering uh, this go kart. Uh, I don't know how much it's worth, and the engines might not even be original. So, uh, I actually was lucky enough to find a new engine, or an engine that's been rebuilt, uh, and they were selling it. Had, hadn't been uh, ran since the rebuild. So, let's take a look at that. So, as you can see, this is our uh, replacement engine. It's in much better shape. Uh, new paint, uh, it's been gone through. And another thing I eventually figured out was that the back end of this uh, has been cut off, unfortunately. It, uh, I thought maybe there was a second clamshell that would go on the back of it. Uh, that wasn't the case. So uh, this engine I didn't think was original, but it 100% is not. Um, I think they usually came with a three and a half horsepower. Um, but... Like I said, this is what we got now. It's a five horsepower. Definitely gonna get, bring more power. And uh, the little clutch, it's like those little black clutches, centrifugal clutch. Um, on my first test drive was not enough to get me up the hill, so I ended up pushing it. Um, so I ended up going with a CVT type of system on it. Uh, we're gonna give that a test here shortly. All right, let's keep going. Hello, this is Christian again with Coach Stop Motorworks. Um, getting back into this go kart, uh, this Lotus 1963 go kart. Uh, I got some new tires, inner tubes, and uh, got the rims back from powder coating. Uh, had on that Lotus yellow, uh, so they look great. Something else, uh, so obviously I got new tires. Not that the other ones didn't hold air, but uh, they are dry rotted. I don't know how old they are. and it just wouldn't have been safe. So uh, we're going to put together these uh, wheels and tires, get them back on the go-kart, and see how it looks. 
So uh, the way these work is they come in two halves. Flip it around the tire, line it up like this. And obviously this side with the hole for the uh, inner tube faces out. All right, so some other actually pretty cool facts. Um, if you haven't gone over this before, this go-kart is actually from 1964. Um, it, was a, it was a promotional item by Pedwin Shoe Company uh, where winners would receive one of these go-karts. So it was modeled after Jim Clark's Indianapolis 500 uh, go-kart from 1960, or Indianapolis race car. Indianapolis 500 race car from 1963. So in 1964, they came out with this go-kart to model after. Doing some research and also noticing uh, cars and cameras had something similar to this. Uh, it may have been built by a company called um, Crew Cut, which was a go-kart company uh, back in the 60s, I think up until like 70, 71. Don't quote me on this. Um, so it appears to be the same as the ones that car, the one that cars and cameras had a number of years ago, except theirs still had the back half not cut off. Um, so uh, may they talked about maybe actually putting together a mold or molding that uh, original body. I don't know if they ever did. Probably should ask them because I'd like the back half maybe. <laughs> Um, but anyways, something else I thought was pretty wild is back in, uh, back in the day, those crew cut go-karts were about $699, $700, and in the 60s, and today's money in 2023 money, it's just under $7,000. So these were big ticket items, very expensive uh toy for a kid and you'll see i mean when i'm on this it's it's not made for adults it's made for kids um i got some cool pictures of actually jim clark sitting on his uh during back in the day it's an old publication that i'll i'll throw in here now but let's keep going see what else we got all right well here is the final product probably as far as i'm gonna take it Right, uh, test run with the new CVT system was a success. Um, made it up the big hill, 
Um, it's quick. Uh, I think I got to like 26 miles an hour, <laughs> which is pretty quick. Alrighty, well, it's probably gonna do it for me. It's been a long project, not because it necessarily would take this long, but you know, I got married, I got to finish the Mustang in between. I got married, had a kid, we moved once, but stuck with it. Finally got it finished this winter. And I have to tell you, it is awesome. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't even know how many of these are left. There's one at the Henry Ford Museum. Um, I don't know where, uh, I've just seen pictures of another. So I've seen pictures of three Lotus ones. And I don't know how many made. I don't know if it was 200. I feel like I made a red somewhere, but uh, probably less. That would have been a pretty big order for a, a promotional item, but it has been sweet. Uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. Pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This will be for sale. Uh, unfortunately, I can't keep it. it just doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, it, it's a kid's, it's an expensive kid's toy. I, you know, I'm six foot. I was able to drive it. It's pretty awesome, um, but I don't want to ruin it or break it. Uh, so I'd rather see it go on to somebody that will, uh, you know, that doesn't have small children that might be tempted. So look for it for sale soon. Reach out to me if you have any more information. This is Christian Toth of Coach That Motorworks. We'll see you later.